My name's Ryan. Um, I work on the overhead power lines, so building the overhead system, and I've worked here for four and a half years now. Started as an apprentice in September 2009. We provide electricity to the northwest, so whether there's a fault on the system, we have to go out no matter what time of day it is, and we have to uh, repair that fault, or also just do basic maintenance to uh, minimise the chances of there being any faults on the system. My name is Matt. I'm a linesman for Electricity Northwest, and I've been here for five years. So as soon as we arrive on a job, we look at how we're going to approach the job as safety-wise, i.e. how we're going to access the poles, and if we are going to climb a pole, if we're going to make sure we've got the right safety belts on. We had uh, various locations that we were working on today, and uh, one of them we couldn't actually physically get any vehicles to site, so we had to walk all the way in, and as we can't get any vehicles there, we had to physically climb up the pole using our spikes and our belt with our fall arrest belt attached. Six, nine, six, four. We had to put um, an earth on the overhead power line to prove that it's dead so that the tree cutters could then cut the trees underneath the line. Whereas this afternoon we could just get the mupe straight up to the pole, park it straight up and then uh, just get in the mupe and go up and down using the, the buttons inside and you can just get right where you need to be working to and it's uh, much safer to do it that way as well. The best parts of the job are being outdoors, being in new locations every day and uh, the job can be different from day to day as well. You never know what you're going to get throughout the week. Oh, the favourite parts in the job, it's definitely when you're just, uh, just working, like out in the scenery, out in the countryside, and uh, this, this, the weather's nice, you're just with uh, all your workmates and you're given the responsibility to complete the job that you're trained to do and uh, just do your trade, really, because that's the best part about this job is actually doing the work that you, you like doing and you're trained to do. Probably have to say the weather's the worst part, like, because there's... Especially with it being the wind, that's mainly the main reason that it knocks electricity off of knocking trees down and no matter what time of day you have to go back out there and sort it out. So when it's winding and raining, that's, that's definitely got to be the worst part, I would say, yeah. The worst part of the job is if it's uh, sideways rain, hailstones, snow or really cold. When it is like this, we do have extra equipment and uh, PPE to wear to keep us warm in these conditions. Safety is very important, we've got to make sure when we're doing the job we're wearing all the correct PPE, i.e. harnesses, hard hats and steel toe cap boots for all the work we do. Obviously you're under a lot of pressure sometimes to get the electricity back on but the main goal is to make sure that everybody goes home safely, goes home to the family, goes home to the friends so yeah that's definitely the number one priority. Yeah I went to college for a year and I did a law and English and film studies but it just really wasn't for me really to be honest with you and uh, just fancied getting into a, a good job but I wanted to work for a big company you know, like with good job security so I applied online and uh, there was like a two process interview and then I ended up getting a job. In Electricity Northwest we get craftspeople from a range of routes. Uh, people could come in when they're quite young as apprentices, they could come in as experienced hires, they might have a contracting background or from other uh, electricity organisations. Or alternatively, it could be someone who works at a different level within our organisation who we're developing internally. All of this is supported through our Purpose Built Training Academy. When I was a trainee, I was put with a specific team of experienced lads and they were my mentors. The main part of this job is experience because everything's different. So the older lads with the knowledge that they've got, you just learn off them. You just do every job with, as it comes with them. And, it's amazing how much knowledge that they've got that they can teach you. It can take a very long time to learn everything about this job. You might come to a job and see something you've never seen before and it's good to have that experience to help you along. We also go on plenty of courses as well. There's a big training complex right where our yard is. So there's trainers over there. You can go over there and ask them anything if you require it. And they're always trying to progress with your qualifications as well. So there's always different kinds of courses you can go on and improve your knowledge yourself. For a craftsperson, uh, development can be quite structured uh, through authorisation levels. So there'll be a series of training courses and on-job on training to support that. But as well as that, the job's always changing. As we use technology in different ways, that's coming increasingly into the job and people need to pick up new skills. So all of our workforce would go on regular training courses to learn how to adapt to that, that move forward. I just think it's interesting, isn't it? It's a, it's a bit something a bit different than what most people do. You get out there you, and it's like, a, it's a bit exciting, like coming up to new problems and uh, 
It's also a very good job satisfaction as well, providing people with electricity when they've got no supply. There's nothing more satisfying than putting an old lady back on electric when it's cold and it's dark. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons. People today really rely on electricity and to support that it's absolutely essential. Electricity Northwest has a pipeline of new talent to support that for the future. Mm -hmm.